Quite apart from the fact that she isn't of noble blood, Mrs. Simpson has twice been in the divorce courts. To my mind, that completely rules her out as Queen of England. Well, after the abdication, Wallace Simpson was regarded as somebody who was dangerous. She was regarded as the woman who had destroyed the king, the woman who had brought down Edward VIII, and she was seen as somebody who was not worth bothering with. For 35 years, every single day after the wedding, she did her best to fulfill him, to make him happy, and she genuinely did make him happy, and yet the court of public opinion never forgave her. I think Meghan um, had quite a, a difficult initial period um, after their relationship was confirmed, and we know this because Harry issued a statement uh, defending her and sort of warning people off. Um, you know, she described it as disheartening and discriminatory. Um, but Harry himself uh, mentioned sort of racial undertones. Uh, I think there is now uh, an allegation of racism hanging over a member or members of the royal family. We don't know who, as we said earlier, not the Queen, not the Duke of Edinburgh, but beyond that, we don't know who Harry and Meghan uh, wouldn't say. To carry the heavy burden of responsibility, and to discharge my duties as king, as I would wish to do, without the help and support of the woman I love. Look, they're clearly very unhappy with the royal existence that they have at the moment and, and the way that, uh, the way that their, their public life um, impinges on them. It's, it's something they clearly want to change. I think the whole plan that Harry and Meghan have is a really problematic one because they're talking about stepping back. They're talking, their critics would argue, about having their cake and eat it. They're talking about one day representing the Queen on a foreign tour to a, a, another country, on another day, say, in North America, earning serious money with some sort of endorsement of some sort of product.